Well, hello there, Tom Green, coming back at you with some Edge Animate goodness. And today's goodness involves working with video in Edge Animate. One of the more common questions I'm asked is, how do you get video to play an Animate? There's no native video object, so you're going to have to use HTML5 code, and it's not that hard to do. In this exercise, what I've got is a little project here open in Animate. You'll notice that I've got a little button, so I'm going to click the button. And when I click the button, it goes to this marker called Vid. And up comes this image with a little frame. I'm one of these guys that doesn't believe that you should be throwing video just flat on the screen. And this little frame is real simple to create inside of Fireworks, which I did. So I'll just pop over to Fireworks. There it is right there. It's nothing more than a uh, black box with a bevel on it. If I select it, you can see it's just an inner bevel. And then this area in here matches the dimensions of the video, which are 480 by 270. Okay, I'll pop back over to Animate. And then what I've done is I've put a rectangle inside the object that matches the size. You can see 480 by 270. So essentially, when I click the button, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to play a video inside the video holder. Now, the first thing I did with the uh, click button was I converted it to a symbol so I don't have a whole bunch of things to click. And if I double click it, you can see that it was nothing more than a simple piece of text on top of a gradient right here. And the gradient is nothing more than a shadow. And the shadow goes from a pink to a white. And you can see how I did that. And I use spread and blur and things like that to just make it work. And if I come back, it's now one object. So all I need to do is just say, look, when this button is clicked, go play the marker named vid, and that's over here. So how do we get the video to play? Well, what I did was I put a marker named vid right here, and then I added a trigger. And the trigger is real simple. I used the get element uh, snippet right here, see, right there. And all I did was enter the name of the rectangle that was there. And then, the next line of code is fairly simple. I come into my variable called vid. By the way, I changed the uh, variable name to vid just so it made sense to me. Now I say the vid's HTML and just put it between string literal and I just use the HTML5 video tag. So it's video and there's the width and the video width is 480. The height is 270. The source is in a video folder and I'm looking for Stockhorn MP4, which is in that folder, which is in the same folder as the Animate project. I also gave it a poster frame, and that's inside the video folder. And of course, I had to give it a type, so it's video MP4, and show me the controls. And then I close off the video tag, and then I closed off the string literal, and that was it. So if I come back to the code you can see. So the only thing I have had remaining to do is just hold right here on this first frame and you can see that there's a stop action there. Now one of the things I do tend to do here is use the display property. So you can see as I come across here everything sort of disappears and then boom up it comes. It's a great way of popping between images and sort of having things appear. And how does it all look? Well, let's take a look. Command return or control enter. There it is there. I click the button. You notice there's the little pointer finger. And there's the poster frame sitting inside. And if I click the play button, I've got a video playing inside of Edge Animate. Now, one uh, word of caution here. This uh, works really well with uh, the HTML5 browsers that will display MP4 co uh, content, you're going to have to make a decision here. And the decision is, do I have to have it play in all browsers? If that's the case, then you're going to have to work with uh, the AUG codec for Firefox, because Firefox does not support MP4 in the browser. 